A new London dental facility bearing the Eastman name celebrates its first day with a visit from Her Royal Highness. The royal family taking to Instagram to document the Queen's visit to the Eastman Dental Hospitals. Her Majesty officially opened the new state-of-the-art facility. The Queen met with employees, experts and patients. It means that uh, that institution is very, very important. Cyril Meyerowitz is the former director for the Eastman Institute for Oral Health. He says their global presence is a product of years of work and, of course, the initial involvement of George Eastman. The impact of Eastman's vision uh, has, uh, well, you know, it's over 100 years. We're, we're over 100 years. We celebrated a centennial uh, two years ago has remained. Eastman's presence in London dates all the way back to 1926 when he donated 200,000 pounds to open the hospital the same year Queen Elizabeth was born. It does stress the importance of the that activity if the Queen uh, actually makes it to come say hi. Now if we could do that we'd bring the Queen here too. Now, you might be wondering just how the Eastman name got all the way to London. That's because a high-ranking lord at a London hospital actually wrote to George Eastman back in the 20s and requested that Eastman bring his vision there. Adam. All right, Jack. And not sure if you knew this as well. The Eastman name actually spans across Europe with facilities <laughs> in Stockholm, Paris, Rome, and London. There's a small bit of Rochester across the continent. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time That's you'll right. hear me try.